This video is going to show you how you can add clips to your projects and how you can edit that clip. You can trim it or cut it into two clips uh, and so on. So first of all, I've got some footage already loaded down in my event library. So any footage that I have or any footage that's been imported is going to be stored down here in the events library area. And iMovie has it set up that it goes by the date, so 2009, and I've digitized some footage from a few films. So to select a clip that you want to add to your project, you can click anywhere in the events library on a specific um, film or um, any footage that you've imported. So once I click on the footage, uh, I have it set that it's going to automatically select six seconds the yellow box will select six seconds. By default it is actually set at four seconds but I've changed in my preferences to uh, select six seconds. I can also see down here at the bottom it says six seconds selected. If I want to select more than six seconds I can click and hold and drag the edges of the yellow box and increase my selection and I can also decrease it, decrease it by simply click holding and dragging that little box within the yellow box. So it looks like a little handle almost. So now that I have my selection, uh, there's three ways that you can add it to your project. One, I can hit the E, the E letter on my keyboard, and it pops it right up into my project library. I'm just going to edit undo to show you the other ways. I can also click on this icon here where it says add selection to project and also gives you the shortcut E and it's going to get added to my project library. Now I'm going to do command Z just to undo this and then the third way is to select it and just click hold and drag it up into your project library and there is my clip. If I want to do some fine-tune uh, trimming on a specific clip and it's only going to trim 30 frames which is one second off of a clip so when I click on it and it turns to an orange handle and I put my cursor up here I just click hold and drag it and you're gonna see minus 30 that's 30 frames that's equal to one second and now it's a little bit shorter it's the same on the beginning of a clip if you want to click hold and drag it and deduct a little bit of footage you can. So for example, if I want to take out the kids playing and just get the shot of the uh, trailer, I've just trimmed it off. So now when I play this clip, I'm going to select it and I'm going to hit the space bar. It doesn't have the kids at the beginning of the clip in there any longer. Another way that you can edit a clip um, and to actually bring up the different tools that are available for a specific clip I can either double click on a clip and it brings up the inspector where you can do modifications for the very specific clip I can also go under video and if I want to change the levels exposure brightness contrast saturation to a clip I can do that here and I can actually use the slider bar and change the contrast of a clip and then I can always revert back to original if I don't like my changes. And then here under audio, you can do some modifications as well. But I'm not going to go over that right now. I'll just click done. But I do want to um, do some editing for this on this clip. So when I click on the little cog wheel, I can go to the clip trimmer and I can also do some of the adjustments that we saw. Uh, under the inspector, but then there's also the cropping and rotating the clip. So let's go to clip trimmer and when the clip trimmer comes up it's actually going to bring up your footage down here at the bottom. And You may have to look for it a little bit, there we go. And you're actually going to trim your clip down here. Um, that's why you see everything else grayed out or a little bit darker so I can modify my clip this way and uh, we already fixed the end of it and I actually want this to pan all the way to the very end the, of the field 
So I'm going to go all the way to the end there. So now I've actually trimmed my clip or I've added more to it. You can do any kind of editing that you want, the clip trimmer, but you can actually extend it if you want to. And I'll click Done up here at the top of this lower box. And now when I play my clip, I'm going to hit the space bar. And now it's going to show the entire clip where it pans across the field and ends at the field. So just remember that you can double click a clip and you can do some editing here. Or if you've got your advanced tools turned on, you can select them here with the precision editor and do some other adjustments such as cropping and rotating. And then you also have this feature where you can trim off 30 frames at the beginning or the end of a clip.